Uh, now we're going to move on to Mad Men in January Jones. She's one of the stars on that fantastic show. And she's revealing that, get this, you guys, her hair is falling out in big clumps. She says it's from coloring it so much. It's not just a danger for stars, but for anybody who dyes their hair. And ABC's Tanya Rivero has the story. She's best known for playing Don Draper's perfectly coiffed ex-wife Betty on the hit show Mad Men. Just assumed you're staying in the city again. But now 35-year-old actress January Jones is admitting looks can be deceiving, at least when it comes to hair. She tells Grazia Daily her hair is falling out in clumps, adding she should just shave it and wear a wig. Jones believes it's from changing her color so much over the past year. Take a look. She's gone from bombshell blonde to radiant red extensions, back to blonde, then brunette and blonde again, as seen last night at the Screen Actors Guild Awards. Many hairstylists warn against excessive coloring. The high chemicals that are used, over frequency with coloring your hair, can actually result in breakage and hair loss. Doctors say genetics and certain medical conditions like thyroid disease also play major roles in female hair loss. But for celebs who must present ever-changing looks to the world, overprocessing can be troublesome. Take the case of Kelly Osborne, who has seemingly experienced every hair color under the sun. Three years ago, she admitted to getting bald patches after a hair colorist forgot about her in the chair, telling the Guardian newspaper, I felt like I'd been electrocuted and burst into tears. Lady Gaga, a natural brunette, has also discussed the difficulties of maintaining her signature platinum blonde look, telling People magazine she must occasionally get a chemical haircut because my blonde hair is falling out. My advice to anyone who colors their hair too much would be make sure you're using the right products for what you're doing, let's say highlighting or covering gray, and also make sure you are conditioning enough. For Good Morning America, Tanya Rivero, ABC News, New York. You know, we were just talking about this. I, I'm not sure, and I'd like to know any viewers if you have any opinions on this. I think depending on if you have blonde hair or brunette hair, uh, also, if blonde hair is supposed to be a little bit more delicate. Mm -hmm. Let me check. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I, I, think it, I think it is. You know, if you have fine hair, it's going right. to take processing different than if you have nice, nice thick, fine. coarse hair. Yeah. And, you know, we've talked about having fine hair, you know, before <laughs> on the set. <laughs> You're just fine, people. You're just You're fine. fine. It's fine. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> it's just fine. I just hope all the gray... I, I just said I'm going to be gray and bald because... <laughs> <laughs> Watch out my grave, but now if it's going to fall out in clumps. George, you're out of this conversation. All of the guys are mortified. Thank you so right? much. Yeah, this is just fantastic. Betty Draper is stunning. She's yeah. always been stunning she on that be show. She could bald and yeah. 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 Yeah.